Hello, welcome to the Maya Toe Belt. This is Michael. I had a request from a viewer named Ophidian Learning, and I apologize if I mispronounced your username, but he or she requested that I go over Edit Mesh Flip and Edit Mesh Symmetrize. Here are these two options right through here. Now you'll notice that they're highlighted in green, which means that they're actually new in Maya 2017, which is the uh, most current version of Maya as of this recording. So these are two new commands in Maya 2017. There's Edit Mesh Flip and Edit Mesh Symmetrize. Now what these are for is for controlling symmetry in a model. Let's just say, for example, you're creating a character's head or you have a car or anything else that you might want to have symmetry which means the model looks the same on the left side and the right side. So most of the time characters, for example, have two arms, two legs, so you want them to be the same on both sides. I mean, in general. So to kind of uh, simulate that here and to not go through the process of creating a character, for example, let's just go to the Sculpting tab here. And this orange box, click on that, this brings up the Content Browser. Now these are all meshes that actually come with Maya 2017 that are meant for sculpting, like sculpting base meshes is what they're called here, sculpting base meshes. I like to use them for example sometimes though since it's sometimes better than just a cube or a sphere or something to actually see an actual model when we are working on a tool like this. So let's look at the bipeds here. And we have several different humanoid figures. Let's just choose the monster wolfman, right click on it and hit import. So this is going to import the monster wolfman model into my scene. You'll see it's a very large model. I'm just going to rescale it down, say 0.1, just so it's uh, more manageable for the scale I'm working on. So let's just say, for example, you have created this mesh and it's really awesome. And let's just say you have you do have some asymmetrical details. For example, let's say the ear over here. Let's just say, for example, we've kind of uh, flipped that ear down so it is kind of like this. So it's like a puppy dog with a floppy ear. So we have something something like that. Okay, this is obviously just for demonstration purposes. Nothing too awesome. But anyway, let's say we have that kind of detail in our character's head. But then we decide, you know what? I actually want to reverse this. I want the floppy ear to be on the other side of the head. Well, that's where this, these tools come into play. So let's talk about Edit Mesh Flip. That's what this does. It flips detail from one side of a model to another. So let's select these vertices here. And let's just say I'm going to... I want the counterpart of these vertices on this side of the mesh to actually flip over. I want them to reverse each other. So with these vertices selected, I'll go to Edit Mesh, Flip. And you see this little message pop up. It says, select a mesh edge for symmetry. And you can see it down here in the help line down in the bottom left corner. It says to select the edge. So we we'll click this middle edge running down the middle of his face. And you notice right away those two details flip position. I'll do that again. Again, I have these vertices selected. Edit Mesh, Flip. And it'll ask you, select a mesh edge for symmetry. So what this uh, request is, is to ask you, oh, what edge do you want to use as the center point for that flip to go across? I mean, if we chose an edge over here, for example, you'll see how it didn't really work. There's no counterpart vertex for this selection to uh, symmetrize with or to flip with, it can recognize that these vertices over here are the counterpart or the uh, copy, if you will, of these vertices over here, and they're just different from position right now. So again, we'll go to Edit Mesh, Flip. It'll ask us, what edge do you want to use as the center point to flip around? I'm going to select an edge running down the middle of the face here and it flips those details like so. So also, I just want to show you real quick. I'm going to select the vertex way down here and like pull it out this way. 
I just want to show you that it's not actually flipping the model. It's just flipping these specific selected vertices positions. So with these vertices selected again, and I have this point down here, you might suspect, for example, if this model is just simply being reversed completely, then that means something like this would happen where the model is scaled like this. And so that point will actually, in order to get this detail to flip, it'll flip the whole model and that point goes on this side of the head. But I just wanna show you that's not actually what's happening. I'm gonna grab those vertices again, like so. Edit mesh, flip, click this vertex, uh, just click this edge running down the middle and you'll see this detail is still over here. It did not flip the entire model. It only flipped those vertices. So that is Edit Mesh Flip. Now Edit Mesh Symmetrize here is very similar with the difference being that instead of swapping uh, details, it's actually going to try to match details instead. So let's just say, again, for example, I have my floppy ear and my straight ear. I actually want two floppy ears. In that case, what you would need to do is to select the ear that is floppy, select the detail that you want to keep. So in this case, we're selecting the floppy ear, go to Edit Mesh, Symmetrize. And so what Symmetrize is gonna do, again, it asks for that edge to select the middle point that this detail is going to try to become symmetrical with. And since we want this detail to be symmetrical with the ears, I'll click this edge, and you can see there that now both ears have that floppy positioning because I selected the floppy ear first, edit mesh, symmetrize, click that center edge, and then the other ear became floppy as well. So that's essentially how symmetrize works. Let me undo, I can just show you the opposite as well. If I want both ears to be straight, I'll grab these vertices up here for the straight ear that I have, edit mesh, symmetrize, choose a center edge, and now both ears are straight, like so. Now, one thing to, to kind of point out, there's no options to these edit mesh flip or symmetrize. There are no settings to use. The only thing you have to do when you use the command is to select an edge to give Maya that center point to use as a basis for where it does the flip or symmetrize. You'll see that in the channel box here, there are no history items associated with these commands. If I open the attribute editor, and let's just pull this out, you'll see there's no like tab up here to show some difference that has occurred with the model based on those commands. It's literally just, it just does it and it's done. You can of course undo it, but there's no history associated with it. But yeah, pretty neat tools. I think that's a really cool addition to Maya. Um, again, under edit mesh, flip or edit mesh, Symmetrize, not the easiest word to say. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for the request. If you do have any other requests or suggestions on videos that you'd like to see happen on the Maya Toyo, please feel free to comment in this video or any video. I do try to read all the comments. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later.